This is free star strike. It's requested probably by nobody. I couldn't find free starfighter, which I remember playing when I was a youngster. I wasn't impressed. I got a, I got a four arcade collection by a uh, quattro arcade collection by a uh, Code Masters. The games are all shit. And I took it back to the news agents and said it didn't work. And they basically gave me a four pound three ninety nine refund to buy another game. Because back in the days, I don't know if you know this, chums, but computer games used to come on cassette tapes. What we used to do was, uh, whoa, upside down, all sorts. We used to play a game, say it didn't work, we didn't, weren't sure about it, and we'd take it back. And the shop would have to give us a refund. And we get another game, and then we give that game, we copy, we give it to our mates to copy, and so and forth and so forth. And what happened was, a few weeks in, after we turn our games all the time, take it in turns, we'd all have about 20 games we copy each off each other. Not strictly true, actually. We weren't all software pirates. This is Star Strike. It's based, as you can see, look, I'm shooting stuff. There's tow laser towers here. This is fucking Star Wars. Some bastards nick Star Wars. Those are catwalks. I mean, look at this. This is a Death Star. Of course it's a fucking Death Star. S Back in the day, people used to nick ideas off films, other computer games, and stick it on the home computers because... We used to have about 20 computer systems back in the day. We had Spect Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore. We had uh, all sorts of Auric Dragon. Nobody knew what was going on. It's TIE Fighters. So people can nick ideas off each other. No one give it a fuck. Well, in some ways I miss that. Where you had like little guys like Kai Sinclair. He's not, well, he might be 20 foot tall, I don't know. But they can... They, I've got another text message here. They can nick ideas. They can make a computer and everybody... A few people bought it, some people didn't buy it. And this is like... They had all these computer systems and no one knew. Before the internet, you get away murder. I tell you, you can rip off a game like this. This 3D Star Trek. And no one knew about it. Number two in the series. There was another second because they didn't get sued. At that, that stage. It was a fucking good game. 3D Star Strike. This is number one. This is basically Star Trek, but a fucking con. And look at the graphics. It, graphics is shit. Sound shit. Speed's okay. The arcade game for Star Wars is pretty limited, which is probably why the home computers had a chance. I mean, if you've seen the, the home computer version of Star Wars, it's 3D vector graphics, not unakin to this. And the sounds are a bit better, but they're a bit shit. So this is a 3D star, so I'm going to give this 4 out of 10. Number 2 in the series is much better. Now, somebody wanted me to review, I think, some 3D fight by, uh, star fight by Codemasters. I couldn't find it, because Codemasters don't want you having their games. They're very, they're still going, but they've been bought out by venture capitalists, I believe, like every other British company has in, since 1990, because... British companies, we just sell out. We, we, we can think, all our, the shareholders think, we can be, we can be working here for rest of our lives, or we can be living it up in Marbella, or wherever, and they think, let's fucking do that. So we sell all our companies. So anyway, what I was saying, this is 3D Star Strike. It's by uh, Cody's, I don't know, somebody other I don't know, they published this game. It's, a f it's not a pretty great game. They made a better game afterwards, but it's not great. It's not one of the classics. Sorry I couldn't find the game the guy wanted by Codemasters, but I tried my best. Anyway, is it a game? Manchuria.